today we're going to have a chat about how sound travels. But before we do that, I want to talk about what the difference is between a sound and music. Anyone can make a sound, okay? You can make a sound, you clap your hands together, when you bang something off it, itself, anything can make a sound. But what makes music is when you get a whole collection of sounds together. And often those sounds are pitched. We can have very high pitched sounds, or we can have very low pitched sounds. And so we put all those sounds together that we get music. But how does sound travel from one place to another? You might already have heard that sound travels as a wave, but it's not like a water wave, like you might think an up and down type wave. It's not like that. It's more like a Mexican wave. So have you ever taken part in a Mexican wave or seen one on television in a football stadium? The very first person in a row starts off and they do a big wave like this with their bodies. They just go up and down. Then the next person besides them, they do another wave as well. And then the next and the next. And they all take some turns and do the wave and you can watch the wave travel around the stadium. Well, sound waves work in the very same way. They start off with a little small shake or vibration. So the way we move our body like this, there's a little shake. The first, very first part of the sound particle where it's formed. Then the next particle beside it shakes or moves or vibrates a little bit. And then the next and the next and it travels till it reaches someone that's trying to listen to it. So sound travels as a vibration through the air or through water or through whatever medium. So sound travels as a vibration, but it needs something to travel through. So it can travel through air, it can travel through water, but it can't travel through nothing. And that's why there's no sound in space. You can't hear anything up in outer space because there's no air, it's a vacuum. So sound needs something to travel through. So where can we see sound? Or how can we feel sound traveling as a vibration? So a really good one is just if you put your hand here on your throat in front of your vocal cords and you start to talk, you can feel your own vocal cords vibrate as the air moves through the vocal cords and makes sound. Another thing for you guys is to look around at home. What can you see in your home that vibrates and makes a noise? So guys, they're the two questions we looked at today. We looked at what the difference between sound and music is and how sound travels. So now we're going to have a look at how sound travels ourselves or how we can see sound traveling. Because it's very difficult to see sound. We can't see sound when we talk to people. We can't see words come out of people's mouths. So we're gonna to have to do a little bit of an experiment in order to see sound. So what we're going to do, we're going to make our own cladney plate. So a cladney plate is usually made of metal. It's a musical instrument invented by physicists uh, so that they could see different sound patterns. But we're going to make our own one at home. So to make your own cladney plate at home, what you'll need is a wireless speaker. So like a Bluetooth speaker that can connect up to your phone or your iPad or another device. You'll need just an ordinary cereal bowl. You'll need uh, some salt and some cling film. So now what I've done is I've put my speaker inside my bowl. I first of all, I've connected my speaker to my phone. So I have that done for later. So I put the speaker inside the bowl and I've wrapped the bowl in cling film. Now the most important thing here guys is that the cling film is nice and tight across the top of the bowl. That there's not a lot of gaps, it's not sinking in the middle. It's a nice flat surface, nice tight, flat cling film wrap across the bowl, okay? So now we're gonna get our salt and we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of salt on the top of our speaker, okay? Or on top of our cladney plate, okay? Just there, sprinkle it on and kind of mess around the place so it's nice and spread even. And what we're going to do now, we're gonna play a little bit of music through the speaker via the phone. So I want you to have a think now, what do you think is going to happen to the salt once I start playing some music? What did we see there? We saw the salt bouncing around a little bit, okay? So that's coming from, okay, we're playing music through the speaker, there's something inside the speaker that's vibrating and it's sending out sound waves that are going to hit that top at the bottom of the cling film and that's going to cause the whole top of the cling film to vibrate and the salt is going to jump up and down. So we're going to have another little look now at what happens when we play just single notes through our speaker. 
and not music, okay? So I'm just gonna play a couple of notes and we're going to see what happens with salt on top. So to do this, I'm using a frequency generator app to get different notes that are high pitched and low pitched. Okay, so I've put a little bit more salt on top of my homemade cladney plate, and we're gonna see what happens now when we play a low frequency note through our speaker. We're gonna to watch to see what happens to salt on top. Okay, it kind of just shakes a little bit randomly around the place. But you might notice there are a couple of little spots here where the salt starts to gather. Okay, let's change our note a little bit. Let's go up to kind of a medium pitch note for now, or a little bit higher maybe, not quite medium. Okay, okay it's a little bit different now. So it definitely is a higher pitch. And you might notice here, the salt is kind of jumping a little bit more and over here as well, interesting enough. So there's definitely a difference between our low pitch note and our medium pitch note. So we're gonna go another little bit higher now. Now it might take me a second to find exactly what I want here. So we're gonna play this note now, it's a little bit higher than our last one. And let's watch to see what happens to salt. I might have to raise the notes pitch a little bit in the middle just to get the note that I'm looking for. Okay, so actually was a perfect note to look at. So what happened to salt this time? There's definitely been a big change. So you can see all these different wavy patterns in among the salt. And I didn't touch it at all. That all just happened from me playing a certain note through the speaker. So looking at all these different patterns that come up when we play different notes, it can show us that different sounds and different notes make different types of vibrations. And those vibrations can come up as different patterns when we can, you know, set up something like this. So the different notes make different wave patterns. And that means that when it hits the bottom of our cling film here in different ways, we can create different patterns with the salt on top. So you can try this yourself at home by making up a cladney plate like this and by using a frequency generator app. So how does the cladney plate work? Well, the speaker let out a sound, which then hit the bottom of the cling film and caused the cling film to vibrate. Then the salt vibrated on top because the cling film was vibrating. And depending on what note we played, we got a different pattern in the salt on top of the cling film. So that showed us that different sounds or different notes make different patterns of vibration. So they vibrate in different ways. So it's not the same vibration all the time. They vibrate at different frequencies. So they go much faster sometimes or sometimes they go a lot slower. And that's how we can have lots of different notes. So I hope you learned today, guys, what the difference between sound and music are, and also how sound travels. See you all soon.